Virgo Nation, welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. Uh, I'm here to do your general love reading from now through the end of November 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell on the side. Um, catch me live twice a week on Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Central for the Hump Day Love Shack reading and Friday nights for the Friday Night Quickie at 6 p.m. Central Time. Start your weekend off right. Um, this is a general love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages are going to resonate. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below where you can do just that. Yes! Virgos, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. You guys have been uh, coming really close to cancer in the amount of views on your readings. Um, you guys will definitely be getting a bonus reading along with cancer um, around the end of this month for being the most watched uh, video on this channel. So I want to thank each and every one of you. Um, keep in mind that the future is never set in stone. You've got the power to choose. you got free will and use your own common sense whenever you're watching tarot videos. Again, not all the messages are going to be for you. So let's see what's going on. We're going to pull an overall energy message. Again, this is a general love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Thank you, Spirit. The key, locked doors can now be open. If someone was blocked off or you were stuck, you couldn't find a solution to a situation, someone is going to unblock you. They're going to open up. They're, um, somebody holds the key to somebody's heart. They're gonna, you're going to find a way. Love will find a way is what I'm hearing. Okay. I feel like you're being divinely guided here. All right, let's see what else my Virgos need to know about love and relationships. General love reading for the sign of Virgo, please, Spirit Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. All right, here we go. We're going to cut this cake and see what's inside. All right, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Pentacles, Earth Sign, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, someone's going to figure out a way to save this relationship. Someone's got the key to the piggy bank here. Someone may have been trying to um, hold back. They were holding back, not budging. They wouldn't let go. But this is also stability coming in. Things are going to start stabilizing. Finding out, I feel it's figuring out a way to save this relationship because it's worth saving. There's value in this connection. What else? Justice. The karmic scales are being balanced. It's Libra energy. That's card number 11 in this deck. The two pillars here. Okay. Somebody's going to make a decision that's going to go your way. If someone was treated unfairly or this relationship never got a fair chance, they're going to figure out a way. And they're going to make a decision. It's going to go your way. Someone may have been through some legal stuff that drained them, and um, now financial stability is coming in. Um, someone might be saving up money for a divorce attorney, <laughs> trying to figure out a way how to, how to get themselves unstuck. 
someone someone's saying they need to be locked up in jail and throw away the key. Um, someone's uh, going to come in and if you were treated unfairly before, there's a decision that is going to help unlock um, financial security for you. Um, someone has to make a decision here and they're going to make a decision, a fair and balanced decision. Compromise. The karmic skills are being balanced here. Karmic justice has been served. What else? Knight of Swords. Someone's nervous. Um, this is fast rushing energies. There had been an argument. It was unfair. Someone said some harsh, unfair things. But justice is being served. Um, someone's going to come rushing back to do the right thing, to balance the scales with you. Finally figuring out a solution. Someone, um, someone thinks outside of the box because this can be someone who has revolutionary ideas. Um, but there's a lot of scattered like energy, but they're going to come rushing in here with a solution to help save this connection. This is like a Hail Mary. They're going to like do a Hail Mary last minute save here. Eight of Wands, things are going to take off quickly. Quick forward movement. Um, getting to your destination safely. Um, Cupid's arrows in flight. Passionate back and forth communication. It's good news on the way. Um, they're going to make a decision to take swift action. Things are going to take off quickly. Someone may have been holding back and now they're just going to let it go. Let it fly. Let it all out. Make things right. There's going to be a solution, and it's going to be it's going to lead to success. So you're going to get to where you're going. Unbridled passion. On the bottom, you've got the devil, Capricorn energy. This is restrictions, limitations. Somebody was stuck before. They were not making a decision. You know, keeping themselves stuck you know, not budging, and they were allowing fear to hold them back. Now they're cutting themselves loose from the devil. Restrictions have been lifted. They've been let out of a karmic contract. This is a karmic soul contract. That contract has ended. They've, they've fulfilled their karmic obligations. This is their get out of jail free card. Okay. Last minute, spirits decided they've fulfilled their karmic contract. Now things can move forward quickly. Someone may have needed to get free, um, get themselves unstuck, and things are going to move forward quickly now. Underneath that is the Fool, the Nine of Wands, and the Empress. Someone was uh, naive and tricked and fooled by the devil. They attached themselves to some a karmic situation that left them wounded and guarded, but there's a new beginning of nurturing and abundance, love and abundance. Someone learned how to love themselves. She's the empress. She's the divine feminine, divine mother of the universe. Taurus, Libra, Cancer energy manifesting, not giving up. Someone wants to take a leap of faith now and they're not going to allow fear to get in the way. Someone was on the wrong path before they were on the highway to hell and they had to learn some tough karmic lessons. Spirit now has cut them free from that karmic soulmate or situation and they're heading on over to their empress She's been waiting for a very, very long time for this new beginning. They weren't letting go. They're holding on to, to her, willing to give it another try. 
they're overcoming their fear. They know that they're protected by spirit. And come hell or high water, or between Capricorn and Aquarius season, they're going to give this connection another try here. Or you both may have Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your charts on the bottom. Got the Nine of Swords, the Nightmare card. Someone has literally put themselves through hell. A lot of wasted energy worrying because they allowed their fear and insecurity to prevent them from achieving true happiness with their divine soulmate. And they were led astray. They were led down the wrong path, but now they figured out a way to overcome this anxiety. Someone's worried that karmic justice won't be served. They're worried that someone's going to make the wrong decision because they already made the wrong decision, but they needed to, to learn for themselves. Okay? Figure it out for themselves. It's part of their karmic lesson, and we can't interfere with anyone else's free will. So don't worry. Why is the key here? Locked doors can now be opened for Virgo. He is validated with the Page of Pentacles. Someone now wants to make a, a solid apology, make a solid offer. Okay, it's a solid new beginning. It's the, the very first steps. And it's gonna it's been taking them a while, but they've learned a lot, and now they want to take what they've learned and do something with it and do the right thing. Knowledge is key. They needed to learn. A lot. The Page of Pentacles, it may be something small, but it's something real. They may offer to ask you out on a date and uh, or talk, get together and talk things out to figure out a way forward here. Things are going to take off quickly. There's a passionate new beginning here. Why is justice here? This has been a burdensome cycle. Someone's been carrying around a lot of baggage and they allowed their baggage to interfere in this connection and it was unfair because they thought they were expecting that you were going to hurt them just like everyone else has when in fact you're the empress. And again, the energies can be flipped around. This could be their energy. There's an empress here and someone thought that the empress was out to get them. And they had a lot of baggage that needed to be released. And they allowed things. They were off balance. Feeling guilty. Someone is, is someone's being um, found guilty, thrown in jail for life. Someone thought that this all of this burden would never end. They thought that this was a life sentence, that this was their fate that they were not meant to be loved, that they would never find true love, that um, it was only going to lead to heartbreak, stress, misery. And they were just, somebody was just mentally mind-fucking themselves and allowing their fears and insecurities to take over. Why is the devil here, Capricorn energy? Nine of Swords, again. Both of you are stressed out, worried, and anxious. Both of you were bound by the devil here. Both of you couldn't stop thinking about each other. Both of you are up at night mirroring each other's energy. That's being that's coming to an end though. That does not serve you. You freed yourself now. Someone's karmic soulmate took them to hell and back. Caused them a lot of a lot of stress and worry and, and mental anguish. And they had to release it because it, 
it was not healthy. So spirit, but there was a karmic lesson that needed to be learned there about what you attach yourself to. Yep, there's a reunion here. Three of Cups, again, there may have been, they may have been acting like a fool, naively um, jumped into a karmic third party situation because they were stupid, but now there's going to be a reunion with their divine soulmate. They're going to take that leap of faith and there's going to be some celebrating here. They're going to give it another shot. Why is the Empress here? Three of Swords, yes, yeah, somebody somebody broke the this Empress's heart, betrayed her, hurt her. But now there's a new beginning. She's she learned to love herself first and let go of this past heartbreak, sadness, and betrayal. And she she picked herself up and, and loved herself first. Learning to love yourself and nurture yourself, take care of you. Okay, and now healing, nurturing this connection, manifesting a new beginning of love and abundance here. Birth of something new after a lot of heartbreak. All right, Virgo, let's grab an advice message for you. Took a lot of strength, courage, and discipline to make it through. Don't give up. You know, you both needed to experience getting your hearts broken so that you know what you want and don't want in your relationships to restore balance. Your advice message, Virgo, is surrender. Letting go and letting God. Letting divine timing, letting spirit take over. Releasing control, releasing the need to hold back and control everything. Butterflies represent metamorphosis, change, and growth. Surrendering to divine timing and the process. Trusting Fool energy, which we do have the fool here in your reading, Virgo. Karmic justice is being served. Let's get two love messages for you. Power, true power is liberating and transforming. There were power struggles within this relationship. Somebody was allowing their fears and insecurities and need to control to interfere in this connection. Someone took their power back and learned to love themselves first and not allow themselves to be manipulated or controlled. Luminous, radiant, and vibrant energy shine upon you now. Je t'aime, the sun. This is, this is the best card. Um, it's Leo energy. It's optimism, healing, reconciliation, harmony, and happiness with, with the divine masculine. On the bottom, you've got reunion. Second chances, getting back together is now possible. Keep an open heart. Staying open to this connection. Reuniting with your divine soulmate. Learning how to love yourself first and not having to control everything. Wow. Beautiful energy, Virgo. All right, until next time, be the love, be the light. Bye.